I know, I know, I know. It happened last night about 7 o'clock. Vicki White just ended her own life. Rather than face what she had done when she got back to Lauderdale County. Anyway, top of the morning, you all welcome into the Tuesday morning edition of the week. It was a nice day yesterday. What did you like the weather? It was 77 at its warmest yesterday here at Station. And a whole lot of folks have already got their gardens planted. Hey, glad to have you tune us for this Wake Up Show Tuesday morning edition. Now till 9 a.m. this morning. Let's run up to ABC and find out the latest scoop on the news. And we'll be right back soon. Here's the latest from ABC News. At Dog Douglas and Street Buff, at Haney's Chapel, Grove Oak, Mount Tabor, and Mount High, at Cottonville, at Baker's Gap, at Browns Creek, and the White. All of the various mountains on Brindley, Gunter, Sand, on Georgia, Grassy, Center Point, on Merrill Lewis, Merrill Lewis, McCorkle, Bishop and White, Little Mountain Taylor too, on Lane and Long and on Mount Shade, Grant Ma- uh, Mountain and Mountain View, at Mountain Gap, Mount Olive, Mount Moriah, Mount Oak, on Mount on Rocky Mount, on Mount Carmen, they read it. That's no joke. <laughs> at Mount High and Mount Pleasant, like. Mountain, Mountain Crest. That's where they read our paper. They say it's the best. Anderson Ridge, Rehoboth, where the pupwood barges load. Long Holler, Sorter's Crossroads, and the Fish Trap Road. At Poplar Springs, at Five Points, near the big Monsanto plant. At Rock Springs, Pisgah, Ebel, at Metal Wood, and Grant. Mid the state parks, Fable Splendor, where all seems like a dream. That's where you'll find the readers of the essays to be when Carlisle Park and Western Branch are swallowed by the sea. When Signal Point and Sims behold the dying sun's last beam, they'll believe it when they read it in the advertiser gleam. The end. Golly, I love it. I, t- 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 did you ever find out who the author was? Well, I think it's just the editor. Uh, Anthony Campbell would probably know. Anthony would probably know. Yeah, he probably. Uh, no, it, it didn't say who the... Uh, if somebody had written that probably and turned it in to them to yeah. print. Well, what's the date? Uh, have you got the date? Well, the, the date is Wednesday, December the 4th. 2019. 2019. Okay, whatever. 2019. Yeah, this is the paper that I, this is the edition that I cut it out, but I had seen it before, even then. So it probably has, they probably run it a time or two. And I talked to Anthony this week, told me he needs to run that again, find it and run it again. (laughs) So everybody else can read it. It's it's really good. He surely does. Man, that, that is wonderful. I sure am glad. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, we, we look forward to this every Tuesday, Tony. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just something I look forward to. I've been working in the yards, and I said, well, I got to get in there and call Bruce. Oh, you surely have. Man, I appreciate that more than you know, that's for sure. Uh, Bruce, it, we got a big family reunion coming up this week. Hey. Uh, the uh, uh, one that I coordinate, have been coordinating it for 36 years. It's the annual Henry C. and Dora Beard Simmons Family Reunion. And it's going to be held this coming Sunday, May the 15th, from noon to 2 in the Fellowship Hall of the North Broad Street Church of Christ at 308 North Broad Street. We're asking uh, our family and friends of our family, if you're a friend, if you know anyone in the family, uh, especially if you know me, you can come and bring a covered dish and enjoy a great reunion. Gosh, that's 36 years in a row. 36 years. We haven't had it for the last two years because of COVID. Yeah. So we don't, 
I'm expecting a big turnout. We've had anywhere from 50 to 120 people. Good gracious. Well, maybe you we can... had one up. We had one up at uh, Ricky Simmons's, my first cousin's house, on Gin Road at Martin outside one time, and we had 120 people there. Gosh. I remember Sheriff Mac Hawkins was there. He hmm. came to that one, I believe, in '98. Gee, maybe. I remember, I remember that reunion. I invited them to come, and he came. Gosh, that's great. That is so great. Anybody that knows our family, any of our family members. Uh, with if if they come to church Sunday at ten Fellowship Hall and have a reunion. Man, that sounds great. It sure does. Okay, do I tell you this? This nine minutes that you're on a breeze sure does get away in a hurry. Ah, um, <laughs> the shortest nine minutes of the week. It well, really is, you, you know you know what they say. The old saying is, "Time flies when you're having fun." Oh, I have. I have fun with it. Yeah, That's we do too. too. Well, listen, get back out with your guard work there, uh, your yard work, and, and yep. uh, get in touch with her early next Tuesday. Oh, okay. I sure will, Bruce. All right. Now, in the meantime, folks with input, uh, repeat your... Uh... Here's the latest from ABC News.